A quarter of a million subscribers here on YouTube. It's year seven of the channel. A new Pokemon game just came out and it's the best one yet. And me and my best friend have just bought a house together, our new home. It's February. I know I'm late to the party, but for me, it's a new year, a new beginning, a perfect hopping on point for my channel, Bird Keeper Toby. But let's rewind just a little bit. In 2021, I spent the entire year chasing the very vibes that got me set down this path in the first place. Back in 2014, watching hype videos for a Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, the Gen 3 Pokemon rebate. And I always thought, wouldn't it be cool to get to make those kinds of videos for the Gen 4 remakes? And I say remakes, expecting a diamond and pearl, but we also got Legends Arceus on top. Possibly the best Pokemon game ever, by the way. And I did it. I went hard on the Sinnoh remakes, just making video after video after video, and ultimately Ultimately, all crescendoed with 125 Easter eggs being one of the best performing videos this channel has ever had. And I had always said I wanted to see those Generation 4 remakes. And now, with Bird Keeper Toby's mission accomplished, I thought it's time to finally switch off the camera, kick backs, relax, and retire. Toby, what are you doing? It's the middle of the day. Chilling, man. I'm retired now. Retired? Toby, you do realise we don't own this house outright. We have to pay a mortgage? What's a mortgage? <sighs> We're oh! Hey! Did you just do a bleep swear? On my channel? And what's a mortgage? Google it! Okay then, what is a mortgage? Mortgage, mortgage, mortgage. Oh. Oh. Oh no. So, to celebrate this new mortgage and 250,000 subscribers, because who am I kidding? I'm not going to stop here. I've decided to start a new, start afresh with, of course, my new office. I'm still playing around with the lighting and the camera, but it didn't even always look like this. Less than three months ago, it looked like this. Six months ago, my best friend Falcone, as you might know him, Dan, pitched to me the idea that we'd live together. We lived together at uni when I started Bird Keeper Toby, and I spoke it through with Phoebe, and we decided that that just sounds like so much fun. You see, Falcone, like me being a full-time YouTuber, is a full-time Twitch streamer and esports host. Currently, he streams several times a week on Twitch. And I, of course, am a full-time PokerTuber, and our online journey started together nearly 15 years ago. Yeah. That's me, and that's Falcone. We knew that this house could be a wonderful and collaborative opportunity for us to mix our skill sets, like with our new podcast, Content House, which is the first of many projects together. And so for me, the last six months have been possibly the most intense and stressful of my life, not only covering Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl and, of course, Legends Arceus, but also buying a house and setting everything up. Sorting out a washing machine, our gas and our water, getting an electrician in, buying curtains and washing up liquid and plates and towel racks and all of those little things, juggling them all together alongside my usual work. And a single game release is usually stressful enough of me for me. This is a double one. Many of you will have seen the fiasco on Twitter with the carpets, which was a lot of fun. The blue color was what we asked for. The beige is what we got. The beige is nice. It's fine. Just very different from what we asked for, was all. And we haven't had to do it alone. I've also had support from some amazing, amazing companies. You can see behind me right away those, uh, those little moss panels. They are Muffle Moss, and this was gifted to me from the company Muffle to help me kind of set up my new office and have things in the room that are going to absorb sound and allow me to work down here and Dan to work up there. And we don't hear each other at all. He's live streaming right now on his Twitch, and I can't hear a, not a peep. Though that might be because above me there are clouds. Like, seriously, there are there are clouds above me. I have sound absorption above my head called clouds! And they look like clouds and they help. And the great thing about this is when I messaged Muffle and I said, hey, I'm setting up the new office. They said, hey, how do you feel about clouds? Because that's kind of like a swab lube because you're a bird keeper. And I immediately knew this is a brand I want to work with forever. So thank you to them for gifting me this stuff and helping me set up the office. I'm going to leave a link to Muffle in the description in case you're looking to set up your office. I, I just think they're absolutely fantastic. I also want to say a huge thank you to Elgato, who I, I reached out to their community manager. I really didn't expect much of a reply, and they were just like, yeah, how can we help with your office? All of the lights in this room are controllable from the control center app. Key light. Fill light. A little bit of background color. Let's add a splash. You know what? Let's change the color. Let's make it a blue, and then it can match the blue of the rest of the background. Have some more blue. Why not? 
I can change the intensity and warmth of literally every light in this room because they're all Elgato key lights and key light airs. They're on these incredible key light stands that allow me to attach everything to my desk so I don't have like in my old office just tripod stands absolutely everywhere and I can move and it's more free and this is the environment. This is what I've always wanted to be able to make new videos. I'll also of course leave a link to Elgato in the description as well and just thank you to Elgato and Muffle for, for gifting me all of these things and helping me get off on the right foot because I intend to spend at least another, I don't know, should we say four years? That's three fingers. Four years doing Bird Keeper Toby because I want to see what the 30th anniversary is like. That's the next big goal for me. They just wanted to celebrate a quarter of a million subscribers with me. And I love that that timed with the new house. And then when I thought, well, look, what am I going to do for my channel relaunch? You know, I've obviously I've released two other videos today, a theory on a mischievous character being a time god and another video on a mischievous character being a time god. By the way, finally time for Zelda to hit this channel. I'm like properly, I'm really excited about this. So if you like The Legend of Zelda, or maybe you don't know Zelda very well, but you want to like learn a little bit, do check out the Tingle video. And the Volo video is part of a really big collaboration. I'm very excited to share my Legends Arceus theories with you as well. But I was sitting here going, look, there's a relaunch, there's 250,000 subscribers, there's a new house, uh, most people do a Q&A. How do I celebrate this monumentous event? So I wanted to do them all at once. So why don't I take you, yeah, I'm actually gonna take you around the house and let's do a little bit of a house tour. And I'm gonna answer some of the questions that you've asked over on Twitter and the community page and Discord, all of those things as well, linked in the description. And uh, let's show you a bit of this place and why I'm so excited to spend the next couple of years making content here and uh, sharing more of it with you. Come on, let's go. So let's start with the downstairs hallway, the first place just outside the office. The office is right behind the camera. And I got four exits behind me, stairs to the Upstairs, obviously, the living room, the kitchen, and uh, the secret door to my right. We'll go in there in a second. By the way, the lighting in this house tour is going to be all over the place because uh, I filmed some of this yesterday night and the lighting just didn't look good, so I wanted to refilm at least a couple of these areas. I did want to show off, though, one of the main reasons that I love this hallway is here we go. It's very very slippy. We've had to tell everyone who's visited to be careful because uh, so far we've managed to not trip up. But uh, yeah, it is a very slidey floor. Anyway, this isn't just a house tour, it's also a Q&A and one of the questions that I was asked over on Twitter is what are some of my favourite video games other than Pokemon? The wind is blowing really strong outside. Sorry, that was distracting, which makes sense because The Wind Waker is one of my favourite games. This is not all of the copies of Wind Waker I've ever been through. I am a huge Zelda fan. It's my second favourite franchise of all time, but Wind Waker might be my favourite game of all time. In my office, it's, it's covered in decorations that are Zelda related as well as Pokemon. And in fact, before I had a Pokemon YouTube channel, I had a Zelda YouTube channel under the name Wind Waker 94. And I've wanted to revive some of those videos and some of those theories with new light in the run up to Breath of the Wild 2, which is why today I released a Zelda theory alongside my Pokemon theory. I know they both look very similar, but they're totally different. So maybe check it out. Okay, that's it for the downstairs hallway. Let's have a look and see what's behind the mystery door. And I mean, as long as you can read, you know what the mystery door is, is a bathroom. It's not that exciting. It's just a bathroom. So yes, the gate of darkness leads to our downstairs toilet. It's not too exciting though. I did include a little fallout guy with his thumbs up just to cheer on anyone who's, you know, sitting down. Um, but a room's a room, and so therefore there is a question. And a question that came from Twitter was, um, am I going to post any of my Legends Arceus playthrough? Because I played through the game like two and a half times by now. Yeah, and the answer is no. I really enjoyed Legends Arceus, and a big part of that is that I didn't turn it into work. I'm now obviously excited to share my theories, and I will stream Legends Arceus playthroughs on Twitch now. But um, no, I'm like really happy with those experiences just being mine. Um, but I have plenty more experiences to share with you in terms of Legends Arceus and fun challenge ideas uh, over on Twitch in the foreseeable future, actually. I'm thinking of streaming on Sundays, um, but I will announce more if there's more to announce soon. Anyway, let's turn around and head into the kitchen. Come on. And here we have it, the very echoey kitchen. Sorry, I don't have sound absorption in this room because why would I? It's a kitchen. Sorry that I didn't clean up. I've left pots and pans out and... <laughs> the evolutionary tree, which is always out on that side, because why wouldn't it be? 
Speaking of which, conveniently enough, there is a question on exactly this. People have been asking me, hey, are you going to do an updated version of the Trio of Evolution poster with all of the new fake mon that have come from Hisui? And as far as this one's updated to, it's updated to the release of Sword and Shield, not the DLCs, and certainly not Legends Arceus. And the answer is no, I'm going to wait until Generation 9 is out. At that point, I will release a poster as soon as I humanly can after the release with everything. The DLC mon, the Legends Arceus mons, and then of course, the Gen 9 mons making for the biggest poster update ever. I'm feeling though that the room is too messy, so I don't want you to stick around. Let's, should we, should we head out? There we go. Welcome to the living room. And uh, sorry, by the way, if this seems really disjointed as if I've never done a house tour before. I haven't. Wow, the wind is really something. Bloody hell. I am so excited about this room specifically to show you and to show other people, to have other people over and host them in this space that we're going to decorate with all of our geekiness. Uh, we've got Sheila, the Hoover, who, who tidies everything up for us. For me and Phoebe, this has already become a place where we just sit and watch Netflix. Um, we've had sleepovers here, people have stayed, and it's, it's just lovely. It's such a nice thing to get to share with people. Anyway, questions, and uh, the really good question that I got is, what do I think uh, Pokemon will be like going forward post-Legends Arceus? And I, my fingers, of course, are crossed. The, the impact that Legends Arceus has had, the fact that everyone unanimously loves it, that the sales have gone well, is going to affect the future of Pokemon. I'm a bit worried about Generation 9, because I feel like with Gen 9, they're probably already working on it. Probably pre-Legends Arceus they were working on Gen 9, and if that's the case, a lot of the things that Legends Arceus got right might not be in that game. I am fully expecting Legends Arceus integration into the main series. This is to say that either future Legends games or many of the uh, gameplay features that are in Legends Arceus will make their way into the rest of the traditional series of Pokemon. Though I do think Legends Johto is, like originally I was like, oh, Legends Curum, Legends Unova, but actually I'm now thinking Legends Johto probably makes a lot of sense. It just writes itself. Generation 2, Lugia, Ho-Oh, Raikou, Entei, Suicu, this all ties itself to the world of Legends so easily. I think if they do one, they'll do Legends Ho-Oh or Legends Celebi. Not Legends Lugia, because Lugia had its own game with the Air of Darkness. ho kind of symbolizes the legends of the Johto region. I think when you think about Johto Legends, you think about Equity, and you think about Ho-Oh and the Beasts. Um, but if they want to keep on doing time-space distortions and stick to the mythical theming, then Celebi makes a lot of sense. Which I know Cerebi would be very happy with. Anyway, let's continue this house tour, very professionally done, with a star wipe transition. And here we are, welcome to the upstairs. I didn't show you what the stairs look like because you know what stairs look like. This is the upstairs hallway, of which there are one, two, three, four, five, six doors. I'm not gonna bother showing you the boiler, and I'm not gonna bother showing you in there. It's just another toilet. But behind these very doors are the bedroom and office of our other housemate, Jake. Let's see what he's up to right now. Hey, Jake, I... <laughs> Let's go see Phoebe's room. I'm so sorry. In doing that bit, I forgot to answer a question, so I decided I would bring you into the bathroom. You're in the bathtub. I'm on the toilet. Let's answer your question, which was, Toby, did you enjoy your break? Also, I'm so sorry I look so sweaty. I look grim. Um, yeah, I did. I really, really needed that, um, that break. I knew that Generation 4 remakes were gonna be like a lot because I remembered watching those Gen 3 remakes and really, really enjoying the videos, the hype and everything like that. And I knew that I wanted to do that same thing. And I really wanted to take everything I had learned from every game launch before it and apply it. And I made so many videos and between that and the moving of the house, yeah, the break was really needed. But despite how I look right now, I'm feeling really for refreshed and just ready to get back to making videos. Anyway, as I promised, let's show you Phoebe's office. Uh, and we'll do this one off tripod. Hello Phoebe, I'm doing a new question for every room of the house. So my question for you that's been asked, it was asked of me, but I'm gonna ask it to you is, what's your favorite Pokemon collectible that you own that isn't like a Pokemon card? Well, I got something cool in the uh, in the mail this morning. Oh, this morning, you say? Mm. Almost like I planned this question just to show off what a great boyfriend I am. He's so little! He's a shaman! And he sits, and I love him. And I got like this really little one as well on my key ring uh, this weekend as well. So like, they're buddies! You could say that the three of you are the last shamans. Dun, dun, dun. 
I hope you're enjoying these establishing shots, and I'm sorry it is so clunky. I've just never done one of these before, and I want to like try and make every shot look not terrible. Uh, this is my room. That's our Quagsire, who is the softest of all Quagsires. Um, and this is where Team Snooze does the snoozing. Um, and this is where me and Phoebe are, are living. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm about to change shirts and then I'm gonna change back again because I filmed the end of this video later, but I am just so sweaty and groggy. Uh, I'm gonna look different uh, probably in the next shot. That will be after answering this, this question. And you know, this is what I'm glad I'm sitting down for because I hadn't really thought about this. And I haven't got a pre-planned pre answer for this, but this is um, what is the best and worst thing about moving out? I think getting a house is one of those things that a lot of people see as like a, a big life goal. Um, I know there's a lot of people who are like, oh, I'm 30, I'm so old. I'm 27. Um, and for me, the fact that I, even even if it's just part ownership, the fact that I have a house at this age is something that I think is absolutely incredible and I'm so incredibly fortunate and lucky to, to have that. And just knowing that, just being in a space and knowing that like, this is, this is my space. And you know, at the end of the day, it's just bricks and mortar. But the idea of building something that is mine, a home, a house with friends, that's the best side. Ooh, let's plonk you up there. Wow, the lighting is so off. Um, The worst thing about moving out Really, the worst thing is just not having the presence of my family, of my mom, and my dad, and my you know my cats and my brother, um, and the dog. Not having their company is probably the worst part of it. If I want to see my parents, it's like okay, come over this day at this time for a coffee. They're not just there. That is definitely the hardest thing, but that's part of I suppose that's part of growing up, and that's something that was always going to come eventually anyway. And I, I know they're very proud of me and. They know that if they need me for anything, tech help or a shout out to mum's YouTube channel where you can keep up with what's going on with her, um, you, you, you know, they know that I've got their back. So yeah, thank you for that question. That was a really good one. Um, yeah, I'm gonna change and then let's show you upstairs. But uh, hey, if I'm changing, get out, get out. And after making it all the way up, the many, many stairs, I am finally on the top floor. And behind me, there are two rooms. Uh, there is the room on my right, which is Dan's bedroom. This is Hotel Falcone. And on the left is the office where Dan and I record episodes of our new podcast, Content House, every single week. In fact, there's a new episode out tomorrow. Let's take a little look-see what he's up to right now. Ah, yes, Toby. I've been expecting you. Yeah, because I'm doing a house tour video and your room's last. Did you find out what a mortgage is and why we are in fact. Oh! Wow, two bleep swears in one video? Uh, yes, um, I did, which is why I'm filming now, obviously. Excellent. Then I will see you for the podcast. You know I'm still standing here, right? You're just looking at a wall. Jokes aside, our new podcast content house has already begun at 7pm GMT every single week on a Saturday. We will be doing episodes and let us know who should we be inviting over to the house to hang out and record an episode with us. And these office looks absolutely fantastic. And now let's head back down to mine. Now we are back in my office, an office filled with cool lights. Thank you, Elgato. And cool sound stuff. Thank you, Muffle. It's filled with cool Pokemon things and a Pokemon card table where I'll make content for Card Keeper Toby. It's got everything perfectly set up and my stream deck's all ready for me to get ready for streaming and sharing that with you. I'm thinking on Sunday evenings. Uh, probably the first one will be on Pokemon Day, so be on the lookout for that. Of course, I will leave this room to go up to the top floor to record episodes of Content House with Falcone, and I'll spend time in the living room with the last shaman and occasionally interact with whatever was going on in Jake's room. But the vast majority of my time will be spent right here in this office and on YouTube with you, just doing the thing, the same thing that I've always done, which is share my enthusiasm about my favorite video games, which to be honest, right now are the best they've been for the whole time that I've been doing YouTube. When I started Berkey Toby, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire had just come out and they were okay. I didn't think much of X and Y and then Sun and Moon, and Ultra and Ultra Moon, there's been a lot of excuses made about like, you know, they've been fine, they've been good, they've been okay. Legends Arceus has shown us how it's done and Zelda is in the best place it's ever been in with Breath of the Wild 2 coming up and I'm very excited about that. And it's, they're both my two favorite franchises of all time. I'm just looking forward to sharing more of that with you. 
So yeah, I just think I just wanted to say all that. Welcome back, welcome to 2022. The goal for this channel over the next year is to release videos on average about twice a week to focus on quality over quantity. And yeah, I, I wanna do you proud. I wanna, I wanna make the most of this opportunity that you've given me because I wouldn't be able to have done this without you. Um, and I wanna, I wanna make stuff that you're proud to see. So thank you everyone, you are all incredible. And I will see you uh, in either of these videos right now. Mischievous Time Gods, go check them out. Thank you all for watching. And of course, as always, so hi, Pokemon Masters. This is Ash Ketchum. You just watched a video by Bird Keeper Toby. That makes you a Pokemon Master. Thank you to my Patreons who allow me to do channel relaunches like this, and a special shout out to the big patrons of this month, Jet Dive, Jed Rubin, Michael Hornchu, and Pokey Bliss. Thank you.